traveling planet by planet. When she wants Jupiter, others to see the universe really as she sees it. It's just something I've always felt uh, kind of connected with. Um, I think it's just looking up and thinking about places beyond the Earth, beyond where I was. Well, our program today is called Into the Unknown. Noreen Grice is a tour guide to the stars at Boston's Charles Hayden Planetarium. But her own life's journey hasn't been quite as scenic. I spent a lot of time growing up in the Malden housing projects, actually, and there was certain times where it was kind of a rough area, and, you know, I was kind of afraid to go outside at night. So young Noreen channeled her energy into schoolwork and a budding love for astronomy. I just, you know, colored black for the, for the uh, space background and I took some uh, styrofoam balls and I cut them in half and I glued them. I made the asteroid belt here with some extra stuff. Seventh grade projects like this one would be precursors of things to come. If I tried hard enough, I could do anything. When it came time to pick out a career, Noreen didn't take long. She was going to be an astronomy professor. But then one day something happened that would write her a different destiny. I was doing a planetarium show at the Museum of Science in Boston. And there were some blind people in line and I didn't know what to do. I asked them how they liked the show. There was a long pause and then they said, this stunk. It left me feeling like, whoa, <laughs> something just happened here, and why did that happen? Noreen was hooked. She vowed to not only open the portals of a world, but also a universe to people who couldn't see well or at all. Growing up in the housing projects, there were a lot of times I didn't have access to things, or people would say, eh, you're a project kid, you're not welcome here. I know what it's like to um, have, you know, barriers. And I thought, let me see if I can break down these barriers. I don't know how to do it, but I'll figure it out. So I remember I walked into the professor's office, Dr. Jaynes, and, and I said, I have an idea for my directed study. I'd like to write a book in astronomy for the blind. His reaction was sort of like, there was, again, it was an uncomfortable pause. That senior project would eventually be published. It would be Noreen's first book, the first of five. One book on astronomy is good, but five? Well, could be 50. Each time, Noreen takes us to a new frontier in the cosmos. In her latest book, she tackles the invisible universe, one that we can't even see with our own eyes. So the visible image comes from the Hubble Space Telescope, so we know what it looks like to our eyes. But then the infrared image, you know, comes from the Spitzer Infrared Observatory. And then we've got the radio image, which is a completely different view, comes from a ground-based telescope. And then the X-ray view comes from the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Enjoy your stay at the Museum of Science, Boston. Sometimes you just feel like you're in the right place where you're supposed to be. I just feel like I'm doing the thing I'm supposed to do. And I was meant to be at the museum on that Saturday in 1984, taking tickets when this particular group approached. If you would please open your book a child will come up to me and say, I have your books, you know, I'm going to be an astronomer, or I'm going to be the first blind astronaut on Mars. They say it with conviction, they know what's going to happen, and I know what's going to happen. Just like that day more than 20 years ago, when Noreen knew there must be a way to put the universe in everyone's hands. For the Space Telescope Science Institute, I'm Mary Stacion.